Hi folks, Scott Sager with you again today here at the RTC TV studios here in Rochester. I've got a new guest today, a gentleman I have yet to meet. His name is Dale Campbell and Dale is running for Cass County Sheriff just south of us uh, down in the Logan Sport area. Dale, welcome to the studio. Thank you. You are officially my first interview from anyone at Cass County. Well, that, that's a first for me. Then. I, I think I think it makes you an important person here in the future of RTC. But uh, thank you so much for coming up today. You're from Royal Center area, correct? I am. Okay. You've been there for a while? I've lived there my entire life. Okay. All right. Well, we got Dale up here after, uh, of course, seeing us down there with Pioneer and all the great <clears throat> things we're doing with our new friends and family down there at Pioneer. Cass County Sheriff, something you've had your eyes on for a while, something that you've wanted to do before. Have you run before? For I've, I've never run for office before. Okay. Um, I started on the Sheriff's Department back in 96. Okay. So I'm currently a deputy there. Um, serving as a detective sergeant is wow. my role. Um, so that that's the goal when I started on the Sheriff's Department. I always believe it to climb to the top. Sure. And um, that's that's where I'm at Excellent. in my in my career. Excellent. So this is the next st next step for you, ready to move into that head role there. Law enforcement in general has changed quite a bit in this country over the past few years. We've seen a lot of hostility to the boys in blue, as we like to call it, boys in brown, if you're talking about sheriffs and, and deputies. But uh, <clears throat> to be jumping into it now in this day and age is something you must really have a passion for, and uh, the passion to serve. It's it's. I've done this for 30 years. Okay. Uh, I started as a reserve marshal and wow. royal center. Okay. Uh, did that for approximately five years, became the marshal, Okay. decided I liked it well enough that I wanted to go into it full time for the sheriff's office. Excellent. So You just evolved your way through. I just, just kept climbing in my career, uh, working my way forward. Excellent. So Cass County, uh, do you know, top of your head, I don't know how big Cass County is. What's the population? Uh, approximately 43,000. Okay. Okay. So, Bigger than Fulton County for sure. Yes. Yeah, in the 20s here. Yes. So. Um, uh, uh, Diverse demographic. You've got similar to most of North Central Indiana, an aging demographic to some degree. But you also have a little bit younger demo up down in the Logan Sport yes, way too, right? Yes, we do. Um, it's a it's a very diverse mm -hmm. community. Uh, we have a little bit of everything going on yeah. in that um, as far as an ethnic background, mm -hmm. ages. Uh, a little bit of everybody's living in the area of yeah. Cass County Logan Sport. Nice little. Uh, dichotomy of, of America, a little picture of America right Very there in, so. in Cass County. So, well, good. Talk to us about uh, any philosophies you have, anything you have that you want to bring forward to you, community policing type of things with regard to the county sheriff and I, how that works. I think one of the biggest things that we need to do is open up the uh, communications with the community. Okay. Uh, we need to work together. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously the Drugs, opioids are a huge topic yeah. in everywhere you go, every coffee shop, every time you turn around, that's that's the question. What are you going to do there? Mm -hmm. What's what's going to happen? And I think we need to open up that line of communication. Mm -hmm. We need to educate the community mm -hmm. so they are aware of what they're looking for and what to report and when to report it. Mm -hmm. uh, so many times people see something. But they're just like, oh, I don't want to call. I don't right. want to be the one that calls. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll tell my neighbor and he'll call. Mm -hmm. If people provide us information, we can use that information as a yeah. tool. Yeah. And uh, we need to open up that lines of communication back and forth where people aren't afraid to call and tell us something. Right. So that we have the ability to work on that. Yeah. Topic. And you want to work together. That's the bottom line. Very much so. Yeah. It's you and the community together to solve a problem and move it forward. Um, the opioid epidemic, of course, is a big <clears throat> issue. We've had the meth epidemic. Um, it just doesn't seem to be getting any better. No. But I, I think people are paying more attention to it, and I think that people are pretty sick of it and ready to get to some action out of it. And if you look at uh, statistics, that most of your crimes mm -hmm. are related back to a drug of some type. Gotcha. It's either alcohol, meth, uh, heroin... Uh, cocaine, it's one of those wow. drugs of choice drive the majority of the crime. Wow. A as a detective uh, working a burglary case, mm -hmm. I can usually tie it back to some type of drug-related activity. Smart. And that's the reason these people are committing these crimes. Right. Because of an addiction they have. Right. They're trying to 
steal something uh, to raise money to purchase their next fix. Yep. So that's a terrible cycle, isn't it? It is, and we've got to break that. And mm -hmm. I honestly believe the way to break it is through education. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we need to educate the young people mm -hmm. and make them aware of the uh, consequences. Gotcha. And um, it, it didn't really help the legislators lessen uh, some of the offenses when mm -hmm. they rewrote their criminal code. Mm -hmm. And they pushed some of it back on the local government right. to deal with. Yeah. And um, now we have these expenses and we're housing all these inmates right. that normally would have gone to prison. Mm-hmm. Well, we need to develop some programs within our jails yeah. that are going to address those. And that's the first step in any type of um, recovery process. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of folks have leaned towards a, uh, a rehabilitation. You need, you need help more than you need punishment. Correct. At the same time, there has to be punishment. Absolutely. And, and your job is to make sure that the regular citizen on the street who doesn't have these problems is safe is safe that's right and then we deal once you you know it's kind of like a twofold and there's probably more than two layer, layers to this but first of all take care of the immediate situation whether they're committing a crime or they've uh you know od'd in the middle of a mcdonald's parking Correct. lot and someone's getting out the narcan or, or whatever's happening there but then it's the rehabilitation and it's how to make this person better how to get this person back into cass county as, as a, a productive member of society. Absolutely, that's right. Yeah. Um, and there's there's programs out there. Um, there's drug courts. Mm -hmm. You got well, some great programs down there in Cass we're County. Not, but we're not implementing a drug court yet. Right. And I think that's something that needs to be seriously looked at. Sure. Uh, there, there's, like you said, there's those programs to get them back into that society mm -hmm. and make them productive. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe in inmates or those that are able to be released, mm -hmm. possibly working their way and paying their way through some of these programs. Mm -hmm. And that way it's not on the taxpayer. Right, reduces the burden on us That's a little right. bit, helps <clears throat> them at the same they, time. They can work their own way through these mm -hmm. programs. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, we're talking with Dale Campbell. Uh, Dale is from Royal Center, Indiana. He's running for Cass County Sheriff this fall. Uh, Dale, talk a little bit about your family life. You Did you uh, graduate from Pioneer High School? I did. Okay. I graduated from Pioneer in 1986. 86. Uh, I, I went straight into the workforce. Excellent. I uh, picked up the family trade. My father was a machinist, a oh, welder. Wow. Okay. Owned his own business, um, Campbell's Welding in no World kidding. Center. Okay. He operated at um, for many years. Yeah. So I did that for years um, with him. Also on the side, even nice. when I was working, I still continue to work with him. Right. Uh, so um, we did that for a long time. I went to work for the Town Rural Center, okay. uh, became the assistant superintendent. Basically, I handled um, streets, water, yeah. sewage, everything to do with the town. Yeah, infrastructure, right? Very much so. Yeah. Um, so you got some on, managerial skills for sure, right? I was on the fire department. <laughs> okay. Uh, assistant chief there for 15 years. That's great. Um, so yeah, I, I, I pretty much have lived all my life in rural center. Wow. Everything's been focused around rural center and pioneer schools. Yeah. Our children attend pioneer schools, schools. Um, my oldest lives in Logan with her husband. Excellent. Uh, I got five grandkids down wow. there. Okay. Um, got a senior on the pioneer volleyball team nice. this year. Nice. What's we her have, name? Let's embarrass her. Uh, Mackenzie Campbell. Mackenzie. Um, number 11. <laughs> She plays middle and outside. Excellent. Plays back row some. She, she pretty much plays all around. Yeah, yeah. Small whatever. schools, you got to so, become a specialist in it all. Um, we have a sixth grader, Grant. Wow. Uh, he's uh, playing football. Okay. So he plays the line. Good, good. So, Jack Kaiser is hero. Yeah, yes, very <laughs> much so. Yeah. Jack's um, got a lot of heroes down there at Royal Center this very year. Very much so, yeah. That's great. Then we have a daughter um, that's four. She attends preschool. Okay. So well, um, we, gotta we have a wide range of. A family Age. man, yes. which shows me you've got a vested interest. You're not popping Very around so. county to county just looking for sheriff's gigs. You're, you've are you got a vested interest in this community. You've got a vested interest in what's happening to the citizens. And uh, you've got the experience. You've been on the streets. You've been seeing it for many a year. So I appreciate you throwing your hat into the ring. I know that, uh, you know, I can't vote for you being up here in Fulton County, but others can. And uh, that's why we're here today, so that they can get to learn a little bit about you know who's running on their sheriff ballot this uh, November. So, again, folks, we tell everybody, get out there and vote. That is the most important thing. I'm looking to set new records on voter turnout. 
Um, it's a little embarrassing to see voter turnout numbers in Cass County, Fulton County. It is. Um, 20%, 30%. Uh, you know, these, these are people running to represent you and to help protect you. So as always, I encourage folks to get out there and, and do that. Educate vote. themselves. Yeah. November 6th is the vote. Uh, anything else you want to tell these folks today, Deb? Um, next week, uh, early voting starts. Okay. You can start voting October 10th. Good to know. Um, vote centers open November 1st in Cass County. Okay. So uh, it's easy to vote. Register. You can register up to October 9th. Okay. Uh, and then, like I said, educate yourself on the voters, mm -hmm. the topics, and you know, make a selection based on your experiences and what you feel the person is about. And if they're willing to step forward and do the job you think they can do. So Excellent. Excellent, folks. Dale Campbell running for Cass County Sheriff down there from Royal Center. And uh, this election day is November 6th, so that's coming up just over a month at it this is. point. It is. We've been at this for a year now. Yeah. So. Well, a lot of folks uh, out there just shaking hands and kissing babies, as I say. As they say, yes. But uh, they're your representatives, folks. They're out there for you. They're trying to introduce themselves to you because they want to sincerely represent you and make where you live a better place. So, Dale, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you again for watching here on RTC TV4. We'll see you next time.